Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about the Walmart prepaid debit visa money card or prepaid debit card. And more specifically, I'm gonna to try to answer the question I've been getting a lot lately. And that is, do you need a social security number in order to set up a Walmart prepaid debit visa card? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is gonna be a quick video. There's not a lot of steps involved with this. So be sure to stick around to the end. And if you're not familiar with the Walmart prepaid debit visa card, basically all it is, is you just buy these little cards at local Walmart I bought this one in Orange County. Once you buy the card, then you can load cash onto it, green cash. Once that happens, then you can usually use it in most places that accept debit visa, which is most places these days. But do you need a social security number in order to use your Walmart prepaid debit visa card? That's what we're gonna talk about. And to make a long story short, I would say that when it comes to having a social security number and using your Walmart debit visa card, I would see sometimes you do need a social security number. So you might be asking yourself, why would you say sometimes that doesn't make any sense? Well, here's why. When you buy this card and then you activate it, if you want to activate it as a reloadable prepaid debit visa card, meaning you add money onto it, spend it, and use it perpetually like that as a reloadable prepaid debit visa card, then I'm going to say yes, you do need a social security number. Since this is a debit visa card, they are required to follow federal and required laws and guidelines. And one of those rules is called the Patriot Act. And basically what that says is that financial institutions are required to gather basic information about their user. One of those pieces of information is your social security number. So if you do not have a social security number, then you will not be able to activate your Walmart debit visa card as a reloadable debit visa card. Now I do have a couple of experiences with prepaid debit visa cards cards that are reloadable where I was not able to activate it, but I've already put money on it. So what does that mean? Do you forfeit the cash? No, actually it doesn't. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to contact Walmart on the back of the card. There is a customer service web address and customer service phone number. So if you're not going to be providing a social security number, what's probably going to happen is Walmart is going to close down the reloadable function of this card. So whatever money you've put on your Walmart debit visa card, you will be able to spend it at a retailer, but once you spent that money, the card becomes useless and you cannot actually add more money onto the card. So it basically becomes more of a gift card than a reloadable prepaid debit visa card. So now you can see why I said in the beginning of the video that sometimes you do need a social security number. If you're not going to be using this as a reloadable prepaid debit visa card similar to a bank, then most likely Walmart's going to just close down the account, the reloadable function, but you'll still be able to use whatever money you've used on the card. But you do need to call them on the number that's on the back of your Walmart. Walmart money card and let them know what the situation is and have them convert that over to a gift card function. So there you have it. That answers the question. Do you need a social security number in order to use your Walmart prepaid debit visa card? Once again, the answer is sometimes if you're going to be using this as a reloadable card. Now, if you are able to activate the card and use it as a reloadable card without a social security number, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.